Steen in Denmark writes, Paul, I understand the benefits of using balanced signal connections, which is essentially common mode rejection, not having the chassis and the signal path, etc. Mm -hmm. But in many cases, by going balanced, you will employ upwards of twice the circuitry as for a single-ended design, not considering transformer coupled circuits, right? Um, that will surely counter some of the benefits, or will it? So for all things equal, a balanced setup outweighs the added complexity, always? Okay, I think this is a great question. And the reason I think it's a great question is because um, there's a little bit of misunderstanding going on here. He is so correct. A balanced signal, using an XLR connector for instance, has two signals and a ground. The two signals are each out of phase with the other. One's going up, but the other signal's going down. Same signal, but they're going like this, right? And when you put that into a differential input, which is a balanced input, then anything in common, like noise, distortion, is eliminated. This is what common mode rejection does. Anything in common is rejected. Again, hum, distortion, anything that is in common. And you'll get lower distortion and lower noise by doing that. Now, extra circuitry. Well, aside from the diff pair, which has one extra transistor, one for the plus input, one for the minus input, a full complementary circuit has double the circuitry, he's right, but it's not in series it's in parallel. So the signal is really going, one half basically is going through the top half of the circuit, the other is going through the bottom half of the circuit. So you're not running it through what one would think would be in series where it goes through here and then it goes through, so the chain is this long and on single ended the chain is this long. It's like this. In single ended the chain is this high and double, it's this high. And while it's more expensive, the signal does not go through more stuff that would get in the way of it working well. So you've gone from here to here as opposed from here to here, which would in fact add more to the signal chain that would be deleterious to the sound. So I hope that makes sense. It's when you do it in parallel, you don't suffer the extra complexity except your pocketbook. <laughs> But that's okay, because we're audiophiles and that's what we do.